Hi, Sophie Giuliano here with Fitness Friday. Every Friday where I give you a really simple exercise that you can do in your office, in your bedroom, in your kitchen. This is for those of us, by the way, that really don't have time to go and do a full on 90 minute yoga class or a get to the gym, half an hour there, do your workout, half an hour back. All that stuff takes a lot of time, it's great. And don't get me wrong, I do it when I can, but I don't always have time. But does that mean that I don't really take proactive steps every day to keep fit? Heck no. I really work at it, and the way that I do it, which is so easy, is that I do it piecemeal. So I don't think, okay, I'm gonna do a 30 or, or 60 minute workout. No, that doesn't work for me. I get up from my desk after I've been sitting there for maybe 90 minutes or two hours, and honestly, our bodies were not designed to sit at a desk for that long, even that long they're not designed to. That's why we get sick and out of shape. So I get myself up and I think, right, I've got seven minutes, that's doable, right, for anybody, and I'm going to do one of the exercises that are really, really important for building and toning the major muscles in my body. So last week I showed you how to do tricep dips, simple with a chair. Today we're gonna to focus on squats, which are really one of the best exercises for your backside and for your the fronts of your thighs, for your quadriceps. So I'm using a weight here. I have a 15 pound weight, inexpensive, I got it from Target. If you're new to this, start with a five, then maybe go to a 10, okay? And, and eventually you can go to a 15 or 20. So this is just going to add a little bit of juice to your squat. Okay, the most important thing with a squat is that A, you get low enough. So a lot of people do squats like this. That is going to do absolutely nothing. You need to get really down low because when you drop that low, you're working your quadricep muscles and then you really have to work your glutes to pull back up again. The second really important thing is that the weight needs to be back in your heels. When the weight is in your heels, you are going to work your glutes, your backside much, much more. So let's all do this together. Get up from where you are right now at your desk, jump up, and what I want you to do is just to lower down. You're taking your feet about, I don't know, two feet apart, two and a half feet apart, feet very slightly turned out. And I want you to come into a squat with me like this, okay? Now, go a little bit lower so your hips drop below your knees. Now take all the weight back into your heels so that you can wiggle your toes, okay? You got that? Now, you should almost feel it burning now in your thighs and in your glutes. Go on, take that weight a little bit further back into your heels, although you're trying to sit on a tiny, tiny little chair behind you. All right, hold it and then slowly, and remember you haven't got a weight, so it adds with the weight, come back up. When you come back up from your squat, don't lock your knees out, which means that you just push them back just completely straight. Always keep a slight bend in your knee because it's better for the health of your knee. All right, so now you've got your technique. We are going to do 15 deep squats. So that would be your first set, 15. Remember, get nice and low, come up, nice and low. You really have to work those glutes to bring you up. The other thing I just want you to be mindful of is when you come up, draw your abs in. Your abs are also working. So you'll do one set of 15. Now your second set, you're gonna come halfway down and you're gonna hold it there, way back into the heels, okay? And now you're gonna pulse the 25 little tiny pulses. And this halfway down, come a little bit lower, that'll get you into the yummy zone, which is the zone where you're really burning. And that's where your body changes. Okay, so you've done those little pulses, come up and then your final set will be another 15 of the deep squats. All of that, by the way, will take you no more than five minutes to do. Then you can go back to your desk and you can get on with whatever you are doing. So I'll carry on giving you these Fitness Friday tips. There'll also be stretches because there's a really good stretch to do after you've done those squats. But that will be next week. So stay tuning in.